So in this video, we are going to learn how to share Instagram posts to WordPress. Now suppose guys, you are an online content creator or a business owner and on a regular basis, you are sharing or creating some posts on Instagram and WordPress on both the application and you are creating exactly same posts. So let me tell you, you can automate this process of sharing the same post on two different platforms. So in this video, we are going to set up an automation in which whenever we are going to create a new post on Instagram, whenever we are going to share a new picture with some caption on Instagram, with the same picture and same caption will be created as a new post in your WordPress account as well. That too automatically. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinik's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavlikinik in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavlikinik account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Instagram to WordPress. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our Instagram account with Pavli Connect. So that whenever a new post is shared, a new post is created in our Instagram account, we will get the details of that newly created post inside our Public Connect workflow. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send the details of that same post to WordPress so that we can share the same post which we have created on Instagram on our WordPress account as well. With the same image and the same caption, we are going to create a new post on our WordPress site. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Instagram business first, select Instagram for business. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new media posted in my account as the trigger event. After selecting our trigger event, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Instagram for business account with Pavli connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Instagram for business button. And guys, because I have already logged into my Instagram account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making this connection, the first thing it says is Instagram account to use. So guys, if you have created multiple Instagram accounts, you will see a list of all the accounts over here. Right now, I have only one Instagram account named as Joe. So that's why in the drop down, we are selecting this account. And then after that, when you click on this save and send test request button, the details of the most recent post, the latest post which you have created, which you have shared on your Instagram profile, the details of that post will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So in my Instagram account, I have this picture of microphone and this caption as the last post. So we, when we'll click on save and send test request in Pavli Connect, we will see the details of the same post will be captured. And yes, here we have received some response and in this response, you can see the same details. We have the same username of the Instagram account. We have the same media type that is an image. And then we have this media URL. So guys, what we are going to do, we are just going to copy this URL from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. And we will see the same image which we have posted on our Instagram account as a new post is open in front of us. Now after this here, you can see the permanent link of the post. So by clicking on this link, the user can be redirected or shared to the same post. Now, after the sharing this link, the next thing we have is the caption. That what is the caption we have added in this Instagram post. And we have the whole caption over here. And after that, we have some other details like the timestamp that at what date and time this post was created and all. So in this way, guys, you can see that the details of a new post being shared on Instagram is captured inside Pavli Connect. We have all the details of the post. We have the media URL, caption and all. Now, what we have to do, we have to send the same details to WordPress so that using these details, we can create a new post on WordPress automatically as well. Now to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for WordPress. Select WordPress. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create a post. Click on connect and select add new connection. 
Now in this window, we have to connect our WordPress account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, here it is asking us for the username or email address of our WordPress account, the password, basically the login credentials of our WordPress account, and also the base URL of our WordPress site. So what we are going to do, we you must be having the username or email or the password of your WordPress account using which you log into your WordPress account. And here you have to enter the base URL. And the base URL says we have to enter the base URL like this, like with HTTPS or HTTP, but without the WP admin section. So here guys, let's go to my WordPress URL. And here you can see that it is avoiding to add the WP admin section. So from here, what we are going to do, we are just going to copy this URL of our WordPress site, the base URL and paste it over here. So in this way, you have to enter your base URL. After that, just enter the username and password and click on save to make the connection. Right now in this video, I'm just going to select my existing connection and click on save. So as we click on save, we can see that using your WordPress account space URL and username password, our WordPress account is now connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the post type. That what is the type of post we want to create on WordPress. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of different posts over here. So we, do we want to create just a simple post, a page post, a media post and all of those things. So I just want to create a simple post. So I'm selecting this post as well. Then after this, it is asking us post title. That what will be the title of the new post which we are creating in WordPress. So I want a same title for all the posts I create using this automation. Now that title is new product. So guys, whenever a new post will be shared on my Instagram account, using this automation, the same post will be created on our WordPress site as well. And the title of those posts will be new product. Or for example, you can give new Instagram post or something like that. According to your choice, you can give any title over here. Then it is asking us post content. That what will be the content of the post which we are creating in WordPress. So first in the content section, I want to add the image, the photo which I have shared on Instagram. And after that, I also want to enter the caption which I have entered while sharing this photo on Instagram in the same post. Now to add images in post content, what we have to do, we have to use a HTML tag and it is exactly the same. We have to open the bracket. We have to write IMG SRC that is image source basically and then equals to and in single quote, you have to mention the link of the image which you want to add in your WordPress post. So guys, while we receive the response from Instagram of a new post, in this response, we have received the media URL of the image over here. So in this response here, you can see the media URL, the image URL. And we have to basically map the same image URL of the image which we have shared on Instagram over here in this post content. So after adding this tag image SRC equals to in single code, just click here. And in the drop down, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from Instagram of a new post over here can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of media URL and it will be mapped. After this, just uh, close the single quote, add a slash and close the bracket. So here guys, using this HTML tag, we can basically add or embed some images in our WordPress post. After this, we also wanted to mention the caption as well. We also wanted to add the caption of the image which we have shared on Instagram as well. So just click here, just add some spaces, add some enters and then from the drop down from the Instagram responses, select the response of caption and map it over here. So in the same way, after the image, the caption will be shared on this post. Instead of this, if you want to add some other data, you can basically add that data as well over here. Now, after creating the post content of our WordPress site, it is asking us for slug and excerpt. So guys, basically you can enter the slug and excerpt for this post over here. If not, you can just ignore it. It will be randomly or automatically generated. Then it is asking us status that what will be the status of this post. And in the drop down, you can see there are five different types of status available over here. So you can basically select any status you want. You can directly publish it. You can create a draft. You can keep it private in pending or future. So I want to create this post as draft. I don't want to get published directly. I want to create this post in draft and then I'll just make it public. Then it is asking us category ID. And in the drop down below, in, you can see a list of all the categories of post which you have created in your WordPress account can be seen over here. So out of all of this, in which category this post falls, you have to select that category. I want to select it uncategorized over here. So I have selected it. Then it is asking us for the tag and in the drop down, you can see a list of all the tags which you have created in your WordPress account. 
So whatever tag you want to add, just click and keep on selecting those tags over here. For example, I want to add these two tags. First one is testing and other. So I have added it. Now after this, it is asking us featured media ID. So here we have to select that from the drop down, you will see a list of all the existing media you have uploaded on your WordPress account. So from these medias, if you want to share any kind of media with this post, you can select it from the drop down. And if not, if you don't want to share any existing media, just turn this mapping button on and clear this field. And after clearing this field here, the next thing it asks us is the format. So here guys in the drop down, you can see a list of different formats of post over here. So I want to create a standard post. So I'm selecting standard. Then it is asking us pink status, comment status, authority sticky. So you can basically change all of those things according to your choice. And after making all of the changes, just click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the content which we have mapped over here, basically the same content, the same post which we have shared on our Instagram profile is being shared as a new post on our WordPress account as well with the same image and the same caption. So let's check it. We will go to our WordPress account. We will go to post section. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new post is created with the same name, new product. The same post title which you have added while creating this workflow. Then we have the same status as draft of this post which we have selected. Let's preview this post once. And yes guys, here you can see that we have the exact same image which we have shared on our Instagram. And in content, we can see the same caption of which we have added in this image on Instagram post as well. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to share a new media, a new post on Instagram account, automatically with the same caption, the same image will be created or added as a new post in our WordPress site as well. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. Now to do this, just go to your Instagram account and here we are going to create a new post. Click on create. So let's select this post from computer. Let's post this image. Click on open. Click on next. Next, let's add a caption. So I've already copied the caption and this is the caption I'm adding in this post and click on share. So you can see that just now on our Instagram account, we have shared a new post, a new image with some caption. And we will see within 10 minutes, the same post with the same caption will be created as a new post in our WordPress site. So basically this automation workflow takes 10 minutes to trigger guys because the connection between Instagram and Pavli Connect is a pooling based connection. And as you can see, every 10 minutes, Pavli Connect will go to our Instagram account to check for the details or the data of new post. So here guys, after sharing this post, we just have to wait for approximately 10 minutes over here. And within 10 minutes, a new post will be created in our WordPress site. So let's wait for a few minutes over here. And yes, guys, after waiting for a few minutes, let's go to our WordPress site. We will go to WordPress, refresh this post page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new post is created in WordPress with the same name, new product, the same status draft. And when we are going to preview this post, you will see that we have the same image and the same caption, which we have added just now in our Instagram post. So you can see the same image, which we have just now shared on Instagram over here. And after that, you will see in this post, we also have the same caption as the content. Now, this means the automation workflow, which we have created in this video is working absolutely fine. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.